Okay, let's go to you for your just playing scary start. Whether, you know, like, just a bad, bad and, and scary bad start. Yeah, I went with one that uh, it was personal for me. I wanted to prove a point. I know it's only four games in for them, uh, but you guys were pretty high on them in the preseason rankings, and I was pretty low. I ranked them seventh, and uh, I think we landed at fifth for them or something like that. <laughs> Anyways, I want to talk about the Washington Capitals, mm. who are, started out the season at one, two, and one. That's not terrible. It's four games in, I know, but what I've seen has not looked good. Their biggest problem so far is that they've scored five goals in those four games. That's 1.25 goals per game last in the league. I mentioned in the preseason rankings that one thing that scared me is that they struggled to score last year. And I attributed it to an aging core. There was some talk about injuries and stuff like that. But so far, they've continued. They don't have a power play goal in those four games. Uh, their wild. penalty kill has been relatively weak. I don't have it written down, but I think it's like 25th in the league. Um, their leading scorer currently is John Carlson. That has three points tied with five foot eight, 147 pound, 25 year old rookie Matthew Phillips. Respect the hell out of what he's done so far this season, taking a spot from Anthony Mantha, who's a monster. Mm -hmm. And really, he's been the only bright spot so far for this team. Uh, Backstrom and Oshie don't have a point. Kuzi has one. Uh, Wilson has one. Somehow, Ovi hasn't found the back of the net yet, uh, which I think destroyed some like season opening record for him uh goals and season opening games anyways i i don't remember what the record is mm. it's crazy to see a world where Ovi has 0 0.6 expected goals through four games but i have no doubt he'll turn around he'll probably end up with 40 something this year some ridiculous bunch of power play goals for <laughs> uh but yeah this team can't score right now and i don't know if they're snake bitten or what's going on and then when it you look at team defense, it hasn't been much better. They're 3.75 goals against average is 25th in the league as well. And it's not like they haven't been unlucky. They have 0 0.54 goals against above expected. So they're getting scored on as much as they should expect. Um, and goaltending is probably the, the number one cause of that at the moment. It's been a real sore spot for them. Uh, Kemper is an 887 save percentage and Lindgren who just went down with an injury is an 886. Uh, I said this team would struggle in the preseason rankings, and so far they've proven me right. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Um, like I mentioned earlier, they are playing the Maple Leafs right now as we speak. They started at 6 o'clock, which was a bit of an odd start time. Through the first period, they had 16 shots on goal to Toronto's 5, and they're down one nothing. So that yeah. just goes to show that, you know, the goaltending hasn't been great. But I think it also shows that maybe some of their lackluster offensive production might start sort of coming back to what we expected to happen at the start of the year. They're not going to be as dynamic as they used to be offensively, but they're not going to be in the absolute basement either because they still have some weapons and guys are going to figure it out. Like you said with Ovi, like you'll still probably finish with, you know, like 30 to, to 40 goals I think would be reasonable. And then... You know, this season and next, and then maybe a bit of the one after that, we might see him break Gretzky's goal record. So, yeah. Um, and, and by the way, number eight was another number. I just I thought of that too. I was like, <laughs> how did we not take eight? <laughs> it was it was up there for me. Eight and eighty seven were on the board for me for our yeah. draft of uh, of best jersey numbers for forwards. But yeah, I mean, it's been it's been a bit of a tough start for them. I don't know if they're going to be in a, in a playoff spot this year. I think they have some moving pieces and some holes in their lineup that they need to figure out. Um, they need to get a guy like Tom Wilson going. They need to get Ovi going, obviously. His first time, was it ever in the NHL going two straight games without a shot on goal? I believe that happened this year, and I think it was his first time ever. You can correct me if, if I'm wrong, if that stat isn't entirely true but i think it was i saw that on instagram so yeah things haven't been going well i'll tell you what talking about fantasy you know their power play has been abysmal and john carlson owners that's what you get john carlson for even though he's still you know he has three points or whatever you said he has so you know he's doing something compared to some of the other players on the team but i'll tell you right now 
Rasmus Sandin owners are punching the air right now because last season when he came over to Washington, he was expected to be this this new power play quarterback, this guy who's going to play 25 minutes a night and, and get 40 points from the back end or something. Well, he has not been as advertised, even though he's playing a ton of minutes. He hasn't been able to produce offensively at five on five or on the power play as expected. So that's been a bit of a tough start. Uh, I had well. him and Trevor Van Riemsdyk queued at one point and passed on both of them. And mm-hmm. uh, that's worked out so far because neither of them has got a point. Yeah. So it's tough. I mean, yeah, it's a scary start. I don't know if they'll figure it out, but I think they're certainly better than these first few games indicate anyway. So I guess we'll see. 